I'm going to show you how to build your very own trading view strategy from your favorite trading view indicators that you already use on trading view. And I'm going to use ChatGPT to automate the entire process, build all the code for me, translate it into a working functional strategy. And let's get going with this. So I'm on trading view page right now. I'm going into the editor's picks and I really like these picks. There's amazing charts and indicators on here. So I'm using the auto trend line indicator. This is a really great script that I personally use in trading and I wanted to make it automated into a trading bot. So there's 151 lines of code. I'm just going to copy it and paste it into chat GPT. And I'm going to ask chat GPT to convert it into a strategy, build the long and short rules for me. I'm going to paste it all in and it's going to convert the indicator headlines into a strategy. It's going to build the, the trading rules for me. Now, the one thing that I look out for in this code is really what is the, the alert conditions in the indicator. And since those only work in indicators, not trading view strategies, we got to make sure that our trading rules incorporate those. So the strategy headline is the thing that we need to start with. I'm going to start with a completely blank script. I'm just going to paste the strategy headline in here and make sure that you copy the version five as well. It's got to start with slash slash version five. I'm just going to paste the entire script that I copied from trading view over here and just delete the indicator title there. We only need one and the strategy is the one that we need. So I'm going back to grab my long and short rules. These are the ones here that I need to grab. And I'm just going to grab the long and short rules. There's only two sections of code there that we really need. Now I'm making a note that that matches the cross upper and the cross lower, which was in the alert can condition there. I'm going to make sure that the initial capital is set to a 100 order size, 100 USDT, and I'm adding 0.05 percent commission. You can tune that to your brokerage uh, to make sure that you're back testing correctly. And right away, it's a profitable script. It looks like there's a large amount of drawdown, 44% drawdown. There's on this green graph, a lot of chop. It looks like we're trying to get through. So one way to build up the script here and build up these trading rules is to ask for additional trading rules. So an, an EMA filter is one way to do that just so you're trading long when you're above the EMA and short when you're below the EMA. So I'm just copying this and going back to my scripts, we're going to add this into our code and see if this improves the results. Now our long rule is if cr it crosses upper, we go long and I'm adding in and and that if the close is above the EMA value. And for the short, it's the reverse. So if we're below, if we cross lower, and the close, the price is below the EMA value, then it would enter a short. So let's see how this works. And it looks like it's catching a couple of these really big long and shorts, but the drawdown is still fairly high. So I'm gonna have to see what more we can do. And this is a trial and error process. So it caught this short, yeah, that's pretty good before it flipped to the long near the very bottom. That was fairly good, but there's a lot of chop in this. So we're going to reduce the amount of trades it's taking. And I'm asking for a flat detector on ChatGPT now. So this is a flat detector. It gave me if the market's flat, we do not want to be trading. And we really do want to be trading when there's a higher volume. When the whales are in the market, you want to be trading. Usually the market moves that what I've noticed takes these really big moves once or twice a month. And other than that, the big money isn't really in the market and it kind of goes sideways. But as soon as the whales step into the market or wants to move the market in a particular direction, that's when you want your bot to be running. And that's the purpose of the bot is to capitalize on those areas of, of in, those time windows. So normally if you're trading manually, those trade setups can take weeks to set up. You can approach a, a, a major pivot point. Now I'm just adding in right now, if the market's sideways, then we're not trading. We're doing a deep back test now on the Ethereum chart. I 
tinkered around with this for a little bit and I got down to 16% max drawdown and over 700% profit on the 24 minute Ethereum chart. And that's a deep back test all the way back to 2017. So it's closing, it's closing a couple of big trades. It's taking a long at the very bottom and it closed this long. It missed, it caught, it caught it a really big long, closed it before going, it went up further, but we caught more of these major moves like this one here. We closed it along before it really started to reverse. And these bars, these vertical bars in the middle of the chart represent the flat zone. So it's not trading in those. And I just have it back tested. So there's, there's multiple flat detectors now that I have using different techniques to filter out different trades. Hopefully stacking it like this does not overstack uh, our our trades. So we don't want our bot to be over configured. That is the fear. But with 781% max profit, that's compared to 928% max. Uh, if you were to just buy and hold over that, that period of time, that's fairly okay. But again, 16% drawdown is, is pretty low risk as well. Ideally, the, the the best thing is to have a drawdown of under 10%, but that is extremely hard to achieve. So what I'm doing, I'm downloading the performance analysis from TradingView on this indicator. And I've added in some Donchian channels as well to help us out. I'm asking it to analyze the statistics and give its predictions for how we can improve the strategy even further from here. So or trade up trade optimization. The, the longs are really profitable using this setup. And Ethereum has gone up statistically a lot more frequently than it's gone down. So that, that might be a, a factor. But so here, I'm going to download another CSV file from TradingView. I just went over to the list of trades and I can hit the download button. This is the wins, the losses, and I'm asking ChatGPT to make specific suggestions on analyzing this file for why I might have won or lost a particular trade and what I can do to improve it from there. This is really, really amazing and a really cool way to look at data, how ChatGPT can analyze this in probably 20 to 30 seconds and give me a full breakdown of how I can build this up. So it's gonna analyze the win rate, analyze these losing trades, and it's, it's actually looking at the average profit um, and also the worst trades and the best trades that I that the bot's taken. So the suggestions for improvement mostly are just r focusing on the long position. So if I was to give this a little bit more attention from here, what I can do is, is actually just either remove short trades altogether or just improve the short trade criteria. So I can add a couple more rules to the shorts to filter out some of those poor shorts. So that might be that might actually mean just adding a different EMA crossover than the long position. So I might have a more broad 200 EMA. And that broad EMA would really, really, really check long term whether we're in a true downtrend. And now what I can do is look at the data just by sending ChatGPT a screenshot of, of the chart. And this is also another way you can prompt ChatGPT to look at your your the style of, of your indicator or strategy and even just the candlestick patterns. And I'm asking ChatGPT to to analyze why I missed this really big long trade here. Now I know why it's it's because we were not uh, above the Donchian channel and the EMA at the same time. So we just missed out on this trade, but what I've noticed is if you hyperfixate on trying to catch every single move, you almost miss out on a couple of those moves because it's better to have a few slices of pie than to get greedy and try to make your bot do everything. Now, not every bot is, is really capable of doing everything unless you're a comprehensive prop firm and you and your bot was really handling millions and millions of dollars, but the bots that I build really focus on one or two things. But overall, these are really good ways to try to approach how you improve a strategy in a systemic way. So I'm going to automate this signal right now to test it on a real account. Now I'm heading over to Pinex, the links in the description, and I'm clicking on the futures tab and I'm going to receive trading view signals so I can automate it 
So I'm clicking on the Futures tab, SignalBot, and it's setting up a signal name here. So I'm just gonna name it Trendline Detection and confirming it, we're gonna set up a test configuration just on a test account to see if this bot actually works in live trading before we start to put pile in large amounts of money into a bot. I really wanna make sure that it's robust, that it's tested, that it's stood the test of time. So we have to head over to Trading View and make sure that our settings are configured correctly so that Pinex can correctly receive it. So initial capital is 100. Everything here is okay, so I'm just saving it. It matches up with this image on screen, and there's a video as well as the tutorial. I'm just copying the data and pasting it into a, an alert. So I'm clicking the alert button, and there it is. Now I've got to select the Donchian trend line strategy. That is this strategy here, and I'm pasting in just the just the Pinex data, and it gives me a green check mark. So that is correct. I'm just giving it a name so I can organize it correctly. This is just the trend line detection. It matches up with what I have on Pinex as well. And this is on the 24 minute chart on Ethereum. So I'm, the next thing you need to have the webhook URL checked to send signals from TradingView into Pinex. And for that, you need a premium subscription for TradingView. So the link is down in the description. If you need to register for that, you get a big discount by clicking that link as well. Now, I have this all set up, so all I can do, I'm just going to head back to Pinex now, confirm that I have everything set up correctly, and now I can actually put in a test amount to see if this bot actually works with real money in real time. And that is the whole process of running a bunch of test bots and then upgrading the ones that are performing, downgrading the ones that aren't performing. Now I'm just selecting the correct trading pair, select the investment, the test investment amount. And there are also some advanced settings. So you can set the take profit or stop loss ratio. And I'm ticking the profit reinvest. So if the bot actually makes money, it's going to reinvest the profit back into the bot to compound that to make extra gains. So you can find this bot and others on wap.com slash trade tactics. It's in the premium scripts and signals. That's $25 a month. It's a huge bundle. You get access in the discord to premium perks. There's VIP signals and a bunch of VIP scripts as well. And the discord is a great place to be. There's a bunch of coders here. Everyone knows what they're doing and everyone is helping each other out. So this is, this is really the project, the, the Discord link is down in the description. If you want any updates on what I'm doing, be sure to join, leave notifications on so that you get notified when I'm, when I'm doing some big projects. And you can also find the setup guide for the, how to set up your trading bot. That All of that is in the Discord as well. It's right here. And that tells you exactly how to sign up and what to do once you register for Pinex and there's all the links there for signing up. So th thank you guys for watching the video. Be sure to hit subscribe and I really appreciate you guys taking the time to watch. I'll see you in the next one.